How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. If you guys would please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit that bell notification button so you guys do not miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. If you guys would also please head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. Stream there at least once a week whether it's for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, Destiny 2 or anything else you guys would like me to stream over there. And of course, if you guys have any movies or shows you guys want me to watch or review here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, we're going to be talking positives and negatives, talking about a brand new movie here in 2022, Agent Game. This film is rated R. It is about 90 minutes long. And at the time of recording this video, you can only find this film on digital stores. I was able to find this on Google Play. On average, it's going to run you about $7 to rent, $15 to buy. And I thought that the cast for this movie was going to make this movie a lot better than it was. Uh, cast includes um, members like Jason Isaacs and Mel Gibson in an amazing spy thriller. And that is it. That's all I have to say for positives. If you were expecting... <laughs> I'm sure you were probably expecting me to be like, oh, another spy movie. It's going to be amazing. The Texas man's going to give this movie praise. No, you were wrong. <laughs> this, I, I was very, I, I was just blown away at how bad, bad this movie is i am sorry but if you have seen any action movie any adventure movie any spy movie in your lifetime you have seen this movie already before <laughs> that is how boring and bad this film is okay there is no way to sugarcoat that this movie is also over stuffed it is overflowing with nonsense there is just tons of nonsense in this movie and it is unfortunately another by the book standards middle of the road shoot 'em up bang bang film like watching agent game and then remembering how die hard the original die hard plays out makes die hard I mean, it is a masterpiece of a film, but it elevates Die Hard past masterpiece. That is how bad Agent Game is. This movie is way too similar to every single past type of action and spy thriller film. It has every single cliche under the sun possible. The narrative is completely unoriginal, and it's very jarring and somewhat hard to follow at times because of what's happening. The film is very standard. Is that entertaining? Yes. But if you are looking for substance in the way of a original story and characters that have, you know, development and arcs and growth, not here. You're never going to find it. This is unfortunately a guilty pleasure of a movie. And for $7 to rent or $15 to buy... I can't recommend it. This movie didn't even come out into theaters and thank God it didn't because this movie is horrible. $7 to rent, I don't recommend. I think this movie should be something of like $2 to rent and to buy, definitely not worth $15 to buy. I think it's more like a $2 to rent, $5 to buy type of movie. This is a guilty pleasure. I do not recommend spending more than $5 for this movie. So if I were you, I would wait. Um, if you're going to spend the $7 to rent it, whatever, but I, $15 to buy this movie is absurd, and anyone that does so is ridiculous. I spent the $7 to rent it because I had a bunch of other people telling me, don't buy it, it's not worth it, so I didn't. I spent the 7 and rented it, and uh, this is a movie I really wish I could get my money back on, but I wanted to make this review for you guys. So, um, yeah, Agent Game is getting a 2 out of 10. Yeah, it was entertaining for a little bit, but for its 90-minute runtime, I think I'd rather spend that 90 minutes and, I don't know, play Jurassic Park 3 with my parents. <laughs> That's going to do it for me, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.